I'm going to give you guys everything that I know about the war pets. There is going to be a timeline. So if you're looking for a specific topic about the war pets, you can just hover around it. My name is Shinchi42. We create regular Call of Dragons content and we have a war pets playlist as well for everything that we have done with war pets, even on live stream on how we learn about more with war pets combinations test things you're going to see it on our live stream i do suggest that whenever we go live to join us and interact with us so that we can learn more about the game so subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content for call of dragons and smash like if you find value in this video First thing we're gonna start is from the basic. How do I get a war pet? It is very simple for you to get a war pet. All you gotta do is click search in here in the game and click the beast. Once you've clicked the beast, you can select whichever war pet that you are looking for. So let's just go and search for all right now. As you can see, we have a beast in here, which is a snow peak rock. So all we gotta do is click capture. Do not attack it if you want to get your beast or pet into the pet enclosure so this snow peak rock if you attack it you are going to get these rewards but if you click capture it will go into your pet sanctuary so we're gonna go and capture this pet right now you will need a warrant to capture the pet which we are going to talk about here as well on how you can get more warrant you will start off with two out of two warrants and this is what the warrant looks like over here in the scroll so make sure that you are capturing the pet not killing the pet i've killed many pets already so as you can see i am in the process of capturing this you will be seeing this symbol like this bite mark for capturing a pet here in call of dragons we can also use our artifact skills in here to um, finish the capturing process all right you gotta catch them all there we go and you are purifying it and once you've purified it it goes into your pet enclosure as you can see we have captured a pet now so it goes into our pet enclosure and here we go as you can see we were able to get a snow peak rock with a gentle breeze skill and a dauntless skill in here now the question that many people ask in here is how do i put the war pets in the legions so as you can see like for example with nika in here i have a war pet equipped and also i have a um, golden rock with my cavalry in here and then i have a Frederick in here as well on my mage how did i manage to do this well, let me show you this real quick as I head back home in here and we're going to be coming out. All right. So as I come out in here, you can see we can equip a pet within the march. Typically, you can equip the artifact. Now you are going to be able to equip the pet. So for you to equip the pet, you have to get the level of trust to level two. You see this heart here? You need it to make it level two. And that's how you are going to be able to equip it. I've heard that once this is level five, you can also rename your pet. So that is very interesting. I don't know what you're going to name your pet. So if you have any ideas of what names that you're going to be putting into your pet, we want to know. Please let me know in the comment section below. Now, the question then here, how to get more hearts? Because for you to get this to level two, you need to get hearts. So when you log in every day at reset, you will have the ability to press heart, basically interact with the pet, and that's how you're going to increase their trust level. Sometimes there are going to be some debris in the pet enclosure, like you'll see a footprint, you will see some leaves, you will see some wood. You gotta click them and clean it up, and then you have a chance to get some hearts for the pets that are in the pet enclosure that you have tamed. Now, another option is by doing the claim gift. So as you have accumulated hearts, you can, you know, draw in here and then you have chances to get some feeds. So what you're going to do is you're going to gift it to the 
warp pets that you have. Each warp pets are unique to what you can gift them. Some of them will have a crossover and you can give them like, for example, um, the Berserk Frederick are going to be exactly the same as the Sapphire Frederick in here. You can see Aminist and you can feed it meat as well and berries as well. So they're the same. But when you go into Lizard, they are going to be... Um, meat and then a bottle beetle when you go into the bear there's going to be meat berry and then honey so you got to look at them because they are all kind of different in here with what you can give them as a gift now to get more hearts as well you gotta select what you want in here to make sure that you're working onto the right one um the reason why i say this is that sometimes you're not paying attention and you're just putting hearts onto the ones that you're not going to use so i make sure that those that are equipped into my legions are always in the tamed process and when you just get a new war pet so we just grab a new um, snow peak rock, right? So I'm going to untame one of my pet and then I'm going to tame my snow peak rock. All right. And then we're going to be able to click this heart now and we're going to have a chance to go over to the uh, pet token. All right. So let's go into interact. There we go. And from 57, it went to 59. And that also added 10 trust XP to the Snow Peak Rock. So I'm going to then, you know, I'm not going to use that Snow Peak Rock. So I'm going to go untame that one. And then I'm going to tame another one in here. Because every time the game resets and you log in, only those that are tamed are going to increase the trust level. If they are not tamed, they are not in the pet enclosure. You can't see them in here you will not be able to increase their trust level by interacting with them and by cleaning in the pet sanctuary. How to get more warrants. So as I've mentioned in the very early stages of the game, you are only going to get two out of two for the warrant. So what you gotta do is very simple, is go into the notice board, go to the policies. Once you go over into the policies, go find the administrative excellence and then just work on this one it will increase your warrant capacity by three i highly suggest once you get into this point and just use your gem and get it right away because you want to capture more pets daily so that you can you know catch and release them and sell some of the um you know skills which we're going to talk about here in a little bit further in the video as well so that's how you get more warrants now how do i get more regen points okay so if you guys are wondering already to regen this is what we call about rolling so if you want to roll your, um, your, your pet in here to legendary, so you got to click regenerate and then you're going to be using a regeneration potion. This will randomly change the quality, the attribute and the number of skill slots of your war pet. It is not going to increase your skills, only it's going to do three things in here quality attributes and number of skill slots of the warp pet so you can see this is the quality this is the base attributes and then this is the skills so we're going to regenerate this i'm already legendary but i'm only like with uh, five skill slots so my goal in here is that i need to roll another legendary and hopefully get a seven skill slot or eight skill slot in a better attributes as well so i'm going to show you guys right now we're going to roll this pet and let's see, we got 26 in here. Let's see if we're going to get lucky in here to get another legendary drop for this one. This one, I've really had a hard time. Oh, we got an extra slot here for the epic, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I've always had a hard time with this pet. For some reason, this pet just doesn't cooperate very well. Intelligence is very important for this pet as well. All right. 20 left in here. Advance. Oh my god, am I going to consume all of it? It is possible that it worked that way. But this is something that I want to show you guys how difficult it is. I've seen screenshots saying that it's only like 2% chance to roll into Legendary, which is very low. All right, so we got lucky on getting this to Legendary. So once you've already worked onto your pet, you kind of want to keep regenerating it just to, you know, because you've already worked onto it. You don't want to just let it go. All right, so we're going to click regenerate here again. Five left in here. You guys have seen I've consumed a lot already. Just trying to get this legendary drop in here. Unfortunate. No. Epic. Oh, no. Okay, so now I'm out. So once you're out, what do you do? You go into your VIP. So go to the store, onto the bazaar, go to the here, and then buy everything first. Of course, I'm going to buy all the stuff in here. And then you want to buy this regen potion. There's 20 of them. All right. It costs gems in here. So buy all of that out, just like what I did, so we can keep rolling here. 
all right and then another thing that you can get more uh regen as well is through your daily task in here so whenever you complete your daily challenge you're going to be getting one regen potion another option to get regen potion is into your merit store so when you go into the merit store you can go into your weekly supply we've been seeing this pretty consistent though so we'll buy all of this in here there we go boom we just bought it all out so now I have more chances to regen. Now, one thing that I would recommend is that you need to click this refresh as well. So uh, let me show you this to you guys. Let's click refresh. And there we go. We have another set of regen potion. So keep that in mind. Now let's go back into the pet sanctuary and let's do another roll just to let you guys know how difficult it is to roll this. Now I have 30 regen. Can we get it to another legendary though? See how difficult it is? Wow, we got another legendary, but the issue in here then is pretty bad. So you can see that we lost a skill, right? And we also um, did not get a good intelligence in here. We actually got lower intelligence. We got strength. You need to understand the value of the base attributes here because if you are not knowing what attributes that you need and the correct attributes you're going to make a mistake we've done a lot of testings and videos and discussion on live stream so i highly recommend that you guys join us whenever we go live we also have a discord channel you can join us over there we do have discussions there as well so you can see it's really really hard to get a very very good legendary pet so we're gonna roll this again we have 28 all right, now we'll roll seven more and then I'm gonna stop for now until I get another uh, five more. All right, very unlucky so far. And one last one. All right, so you don't have to save it. You can just exit out. I'm not gonna roll anymore for today. That's gonna be it for now. So that's how you do the regeneration on war pets. Very unlucky sometimes, sometimes very lucky. Now, how to add skills into the war pet? So you guys see that my Berserk Frederick has some skills in here. I've added this one. Got really lucky in the Forceful Pain Bloom. Now, onto my Golden Rock, as you can see, I have some slots in here. So I'm going to show you guys in here how to add some skills. All right. So what I'm going to be adding in here into the Golden Rock is we're going to add Fierce Attack because we have a very good strength in here. So let's go here into skills all right you can go into this portion but i want to warn you that whenever you buy anything in here let's say i go click this fierce attack you have to understand this is buy and learn so it will automatically as you click this one and purchase it it will automatically learn the skill into your pet another thing that you can do is going into the shop in here and you can actually buy it once you buy a skill in here it will go into your war pet skill card and then you can consume it this way or you can just go into the pet and go into the skill and then you will actually see it over here i'll give you guys two uh well if we did not proc well then i will show you guys two ways in here but first i'll give you guys the best practice in here so we'll just go buy a zero star and uh, we are going to be buying fierce attack in here all right 120 only very cheap on the zero star so let's go buy this one and again this is strength and this is dealt by physical so that is very important to understand there's physicals and there's magical so the magical will be like for the fray drake in here we're, we, it's not gonna work so we're going to be adding into the physical to the golden rock because the golden rock is a physical pet in here over here you can see let's go add into the skill you can see i already owned one so we're gonna click learn it's not saying that buy and learn it's just saying learn so i'm gonna click learn right now all right and boom you can see it's really bad it's replacing my exurbance you don't want to replace your talent this is a no-no so if i click x or just click outside it is still going to be there it's not gone so just click back to skills and it's still here if you click abandon then you're going to lose the one that you just purchased which i'm going to be losing the fierce attack the addition of skills for the pet is totally random Okay, just want to give you guys that uh, uh, advice. It's going to be random. So the goal here is to add into the empty slot. So we're going to click abandon in here. All right, because you don't want to save that. You don't want to replace your talent. The talent cannot be purchased. It can only be inherited when you are capturing the pet. So we're going to go get another one in here. Buy and learn. There we go. Buy. Is replacing the feral exuberance, which I don't want that to do it. So we're going to click abandon as well. Again, we'll do buy and learn. Now, 
the reason why I'm doing this also in the video is that I want you guys to see the process that it's not easy and it's not cheap as well. So I want you guys to have the mental capacity when you're doing this. So I'm doing this so that you're kind of ready for this and you're not going to spend too much into the game as well. So if you appreciate this movement or this action that we're doing to show to you guys do help us with this video and press like i am spending my own money in here this is not a stipend money from the game I, this is my own money so the best way to support us is just watching our ads as well and just hitting that like button helps us out a lot and commenting into the video all right so let's buy and learn again click this one and dude it's literally going all over my skills in here um i'm not gonna replace this one this one is a one star terra barrier so i'm gonna click abandon again Binary. this is the last one if not i'm just gonna go buy the zero ones in here uh, dude this is crazy i've just lost so much now so much coins so we're gonna go abandon this one this is crazy all right so let's go buy another one in here let's go buy and learn all right let's see 723 all right so this time i can just replace this one swift revenge this is um you can find this one you can see swift revenge so let's go back out here and go into the shop in here you can find swift revenge so you see this is only 40 i have a higher value card in here so i'm just going to replace that one so let's go and see this one let's go back to our pet all right, go here, Golden Rock, Skills, and we're going to save that. We're just replacing the Swift Revenge in here. There we go. So we have a higher value card. We're replacing it in here. So you guys are also wondering, how can I capture more pets and add them into my list in here? As you can see, I have 14 out of 18. So to increase that, you just simply click this plus button here. As you can see, by clicking that plus button, right, it will allow you to expand your pet enclosure. So now it's 1,200. To increase that do you really need to increase it not really in my opinion um maybe in the future yes but right now you know i, I think when you have like 18 is pretty sufficient for what i have i don't need to open this up it's getting more expensive um all you need is seven to be tamed and you can collect hearts from there and then maybe you need 14 total just so you can switch around i've heard rumors saying that the pets stamina are a bit slower to regen compared to the hero stamina so in that sense i haven't really did did the test for that one if that is the case then um what we're going to be you know seeing is that you need two pets for one march so you can just switch around you know once one of your pet stamina is out you can use another one now how does skill inheritance work this is going to be kind of complicated so bear with me on how i'm going to explain things here with you so um, for example, we have the Berserk Fredericks in here, right? I have the legendary and I have the epic ones in here. So let me give you an example of what we're going to do. So to combine these pets or to do the skill inheritance, you want to click this arrow over here. All right. So clicking the skill inheritance in here, it will get you into this page. All right. So consume and accept war pets can only inherit skills from a war pet of the same type so when we click over here you're going to see war pet of the same types now the war pet who transferred their skills will disappear afterwards so it says here transfer their skills all right this is not combining this is transferring that's the key word so if i click something over here into the pet enclosure i click confirm all right now you can see this pet that I'm going to be consuming will be transferring into the one that I'm going to accepting. So the purple skills from the Berserk Fredrick will transfer into the legendary Berserk Fredrick. So all the skills and talent that I have from here will disappear and I will only have three with the one that I got from the epic one. So basically it's going from right to left so for example i'll give you a good scenario where you want to actually do this process the skill inheritance so this example here is very bad you don't want to do this so let me give you guys a good example in here all right we're gonna do a um hypothetical scenarios right now so right now let's say we're going to um do a transfer all right we're just gonna do an example of the snow peak rock let's say i proc this one to legendary i have the best attributes got lucky for some reason you did it 
um, then you don't have a talent. So unlucky you don't have a talent. Then then you captured another snow peak croc with a talent. And maybe you got lucky, you got a one star talent, but it's terrible attributes, horrible. Then what you can do is then you can click into this one that has the legendary and good attribute. And then you need to consume the one that you got with a talent. And now you can transfer a inherited talent into the legendary very good attribute so that's the basic process of doing a skill inheritance is that you can transfer the talent because you can never um get the talent if you release the pet all right so how do you release the pet i don't think i've mentioned this yet to release the pet you gotta click this so i'll give you an example um we just got this snow peak rock in here right earlier so i don't really care much about this i don't have the skill for the concentration so i'm gonna go and release the pet in here so when i release the pet i have a chance to potentially get the skill of the pet except the talent now what is the talent the talent will indicate in here um let's go into my um berserk frederick the talent is right here that's talent over there in the top so um, let's go and release this snow peak rock. So let's go release it by clicking this bird. All right, and then let's click confirm. Let's see what we get. All right. So unfortunately, we got a book. The book that we just got will enhance the capacity of the um, cards that we can collect. So let's go into here, um, into this one in the middle. And now you can see this is my war pet skill cards. So this is where the book comes in play. So you see this over here into the top right corner. Um, you can now do expansion. So you need these books to expand. So I need from 18 to 19. Uh, I got 24 already, so I can use it right now. So I just need 10. All right, so let's click use. So it will become 19 instead of 18. So click use, there we go. You can also use gems to do that. And then now you have more. Now, if you um get some skill cards in here but your book here is full so what's going to happen is that you're going to get a system mail and you're going to be able to just collect it through the mail um it is very different though than the pet enclosure i, I should have mentioned this in the section of that but since you're watching everything in here you're you're getting this value so if your pet enclosure is full you don't have any more slot and if you try to capture a pet you're going to lose that pet that you just captured you're not it's not going to go into your pet enclosure so how do we get more coins so one of the things that i've done in here is i've made a purchase uh into the shop so as you can see um exchange coins in here you can buy some coins i got you know first purchase it doubled it up so you can do that first purchases of each ones in here if you would like and another thing that you can really do is just go into the pet sanctuary and you can sell some of the cards that you don't need so i've seen people have made like 500 you know coins already and they were able to just get it through catch and release of the pet and they got lucky and start selling some stuff so let's say i don't want this timely manner oh this agility ones you can't sell so say i don't want the gentle breeze i can go click sell in here and then you know it'll cost 191 for the cost of that one so that's an option that you guys can do and start collecting more coins within the game now let's go a little bit deeper into the topic in here all right um i'm going to talk about the base attributes so the base attributes and calculations is over here um you can see formula attribute all right equals to base attribute plus growth rate times warp pet level minus one so um you got to do m dash when you're doing the calculation in here just keep that in mind basic mathematic rules um m dash if you guys don't remember what that is so that's how you do the basic attributes now but let's talk about the skills though this is more important the skills so um in the question mark in here you can see there are six type of skills there is strength agility intelligence endurance spirit and luck now a pet can only have three skills of the same type so you can see i already have three intelligence in here if i add another intelligence i will get a exclamation mark and it will not work it's not going to give you a warning okay before you add it so once you've already added then you're going to see that oh man it's not going to work actually you know what it will do give you a warning before you accept it i believe so just keep that in mind. You can only add three of the same attribute, three intelligence, three strength, three agility, three endurance, three spirit, three luck. So when you're building your pet, you need to have a good understanding what attributes you got. First of all, I wanna say, you wanna find a pet with a talent that is very important. And then if you don't have a talent, for example, the ones that we got for free, don't release this one. You can build around this. 
to be more unique. All right. So the thing that I want to say is that you need to look into the attributes. So one of my best pet in here, I would say, is my um, this guy, this Berserk Phaedric. So I got strength, agility, endurance, and spirit that are pretty good. I've got pretty decent luck as well. So when I'm working towards this, right, I need to focus on strength first because it's the highest one. So we got, you know, um, this one, Fierce Attack. We got Tooth and Claw. So these are strength-based attributes. And then now we got to work on to agility. This one is agility. They had a text error in here. This is not based on intelligence. So this one is agility. Then I want to add, you know, potentially if I you know get some agility skill cards i'm going to add it into here and then luck i have a pretty nice luck in here as well at at 19 so i'm working on a little bit of luck so you want to cater to the attributes of the pet and kind of what you're going to be adding into these skills in here now, whenever we're buying skills in the shop, I want you guys to understand that you can have a, that there is a limit. So with a seasonal purchase, you know, you can buy three star in here, which is not released yet at this very moment that we're creating the video, um, three times only and two stars, five times, and then one star is unlimited and zero star is unlimited. So just keep that in mind that there is a limit. So you have to be careful what you are buying within the game. Now let's talk about the best pet to pair with your heroes. I'm just gonna go with this kind of quick. I mentioned about this in the stream and we'll make videos more about this, but I highly, highly, highly recommend that you check out most of our videos because you're going to get a lot of information just like with this video. And if you've been watching this here until this part, I just wanna say thank you for watching it completely. I hope you're learning a lot of things in the video that we are making. And if you find really, really good value in this one, do press like onto our video. It helps us with the algorithm and leave a comment in the comment section as well. Tell us about your experience with the war pets here in Call of Dragons. So best hero pet pairing right now. I'm just going to give you guys a general overview of what we have learned so far. The ice lizard is good for the magic units. Um, the thunder lizard is also a magic. It's so it's, it's going to work with magic units as well. Sand lizard can work with anyone in here. It's, it has really good healing capability for every six seconds. Seconds. The Venomous Lizard, I'm not a big fan of this one. This is another magic one. I think out of all the lizard, this is probably one of the weakest lizards to use. The Ice Lizard is pretty nice. The Thunder Lizard is pretty nice as well. Um, when we go into the Berserk Frederick, this is something that we see that is really good for Ferrando. Um, this can also work with the Marksmen that they have debuff. Um, now, when we look into the Sapphire Frederick, this blue dragon in here, this is going to be good for the magic unit, magic type, like the uh, Ice Lizard and the Thunder Lizard. But I think the Sapphire Frederick is better than those lizards, in my opinion. The Golden Rock is one of my favorite in here. This Golden Rock with the... Um, Exurban's talent is going to allow your cavalry like Bakshi, Emery's, Alistair to convert their passion into damage. And you're also going to be able to get more uh, like healing and uh, I think the and, and, and rage as well with the Feral Exuberance when you're adding that. I have a specific video for this as well. I highly recommend that you guys look for that because I explain a lot more in details into this one. We are going to be making videos about these pets in details. So make sure to tune in, check out our War Pets playlist so that you can get more information into the builds that we're going to be doing and you know information about the war pets and what pairings that you're going to be doing but the golden rock is really good for calves because they have passion and it's really good with the spring blades as well because passion is related with this one now the snow peak rock what we have seen this is going to be really good with marksman units the frost bear it's good with infantry and as well as stripe bear the frost bear is good for like shielding madeline that's where it's really going to shine the stripe bear i think it's not the greatest but it's still something that you can use i think the frost bear is better than the stripe bear the stripe bear again will be running with the infantry as well just keep in mind when you're looking into these pets there's physical there is magical you got to make sure that whenever you're building the skills, you're not intertwining these as well. Uh, one more tip that I want to send you guys off in here is that whenever you're buying into the shop, many people did not realize this. When you look into the highlighted in here at yellow, arrogance, ice orbs, friendship, frost armor, uh, infection. These are concentration, exuberance, right? Pain bloom. These are talents of the pet so the pain bloom is coming from the uh, blue dragon exurbance coming from the golden rock concentration for the white rock 
frost armor will be coming from the white bear and then this is going to be the striped bear for the friendship um ice core will be from the lizard the ice lizard arrogance will be coming from the berserk Frederick. then defection will be from the poison lizard um the sand lizard i don't think we've seen their skill there there's no enhancement for that one so just keep that in mind in here or i guess it's venomous lizard not poison lizard pretty much close enough anyway but i hope this video is very helpful we we put in everything in here this is by far everything that i know so far with the war pets it's packing with a lot of information i hope you guys appreciate this we create regular content for call of dragons we are partnered with call of dragons as well we are doing all our best in here to provide amazing contents and information in here for you guys to succeed and spend less money as well as i do the test for you guys in here hopefully you guys appreciate it thank you guys for watching it's it's a long video but uh it's really a lot of information thank you peace out i'll see you again next time make sure to subscribe and turn your notification on to this video